Thomas is six foot two, 244 pounds, 33 inch arms, played D end at Clemson, will be an outside linebacker in the league. He wears jersey number three. He's rushing off the right tackle side. This first play is pretty rare and pretty special. First thing we see from Xavier off the ball is he heads out wide and straight, takes on this chip. This is effectively a reroute as the back then leaks out. Then we see a two-handed swat, and then that dip, and then this flattening or this bend, which is really rare and really striking, uh, that motorcycle lean, as Greg Cosell calls it. Keeps his balance, flattens to the quarterback. Watch the effort at the end. He's at the top of our screen, again, against a right tackle. In addition to that rare ability that he has to flatten and bend the edge, he is just quick off the line, electric, fast off the edge, and is a legitimate and serious threat outside for any tackle. See that here? He's just too fast, and he has that dip of his shoulder as he beats the tackle and wins the edge. Gets a hit on the quarterback. He'll frequently take a round route or path to the quarterback. He's got enough speed to pull that off and really gauge where the tackle is going to set, how he might best exploit him. Gets up field here, tackles a little high, his hands are low, sticks both hands in his chest, rips down, flushes the quarterback. Watch his feet and watch how explosive he is off the line. Pretty sure most of the clips are with him coming off the right tackle side. When he takes this wide path, which is really just a straight up field path, it's really a measure or a gauge. Also a way for him to bait the tackle and wait for him to shoot very often. You can see that here. Tackle's shooting his arms. Xavier swats him away. He knows he's got that ability to bend, get under the tackle. Here we see a little bit more of a slow play, dropping of his pads, a bull rush. Goes to get the tackle's outside hand off of him, right there with his outside arm, and then this great ability to just flatten and get straight to the quarterback. Watch it again. This is such a great inside counter and a dynamic spin move. I think pretty advanced, heading up field, threatening the outside shoulder, attacking that outside arm violently, dropping his hips, a really fast spin, and making an effort with his arm to trap the inside arm of the tackle. He gets held a lot. Watch it again. I was expecting to be underwhelmed by Xavier in the run game, in part because I haven't heard much about him, and my mind automatically went to, to the idea that he would be a liability in the run game, but also because he's playing a little bit out of position, at least the position I anticipate he'll play uh, when he gets to the NFL. This is him at five technique. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Good pads, locks out, sheds the block, finds the ball. I found that to be a consistent theme with him. Good play recognition throughout, good play recognition and decent take on skills, good awareness as to where the football is, and good effort in going to find the football. Five technique, top of our screen, I think a good example of his play recognition and his reading of the action in the backfield. Also his ability to spin out of this block and chase down the ball carrier. This guy really looks the part of a typical 3-4 type outside linebacker. 
lunges a bit here off the ball. You see he's got the ability, once again, to find the football, read the action, lock out his arms against this bigger tackle, get off the block, and get in on the tackle. I'm sure if he is seen in that light by a team like the Ravens, they will ask him to um, muscle up, gain some weight. Xavier with his hand in the dirt is really not the best look in terms of him being asked to take on double teams. Once again, we see really good play recognition, play awareness as they're trying to get outside. Right there, you see him checking out the action in the backfield. Knows he's got to get outside. Set the edge. Here he's taking on a tight end. Back has to cut it back inside. Watch it again. He mitigates the running back's block as well. Xavier's a legitimate pass rusher. I think he's an outside linebacker in the league. I don't really understand uh, when I see that he's going to be around in the fourth or even the fifth round. I do know that he will be 24 uh, when the draft rolls around, so he's an older prospect. He's also had some injuries, uh, one serious foot injury in 2022, but there is no denying his talent as a pass rusher. And as I said, I was pleasantly surprised watching him versus the run as well.